Well, gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did. It's going to trim down, slow down, and get chatting because this is a Lamborghini. This is a Lamborghini of speed boats, and we got twin 450 horsepower. I'm just settling back into normal speeds, and I'm going to play with my trim, get the boat settings all sorted again, and we're going to do an absolute full speed run uh, after this, and bring you along for the ride. But we just hit about 63 knots, and the capability is more than that. But this sort of design, it's not. It's not for the faint-hearted, so I'm going to do my best uh, during this video to explain to you what is going on at the helm, because a lot of things are going on that perhaps uh, is not going to be what you are used to. And this is the style of boat that you can cruise around. We are we're cruising at 33 knots right now, 3,100 revs, so it feels docile on this thing but that's because this thing is a freaking weapon um, is it for everyone absolutely not you need to be desiring top performance you need to have some skill set and um, you need to understand the quality that's gone into this this branch from Norway where they do a lot of fjording so basically they have beautiful big fjords a lot of water to run in between super cool locations. I haven't been there myself, but I've got a few Norwegian friends and I've heard all about it from them. And there's some pretty cool uh, Instagrammers who do some cool stuff and you can see what they get up to. And this, this brand does appeal to those guys, but I think it's definitely a place for many Australians on Sydney Harbour, down in Sorrento, the Gold Coast, and maybe even on the river in Perth. Would you take it in the ocean? Well, it drove down the ocean today to get to me. So the answer is yes, but you need to know what you're doing um, because you need to understand your limits. You gotta make sure you drive the boat correctly. And so it's, a, it's essentially, it's gonna be on you is what I'm trying to get at. I'm just gonna go through a turn, clear, clear, just maintaining 33 knots. So, if you came from the tour, you'll understand some of the construction that's gone into this boat. It is at another level, and you need to do that if you're going to build something that can run at sustained 60 knots of speed and hit 70. That's just what's required. But let me just try and educate you on what's going on at the helm now before we stop the boat and do a full speed run. So, We've got grab handles all around. I've got a really, really well uh, aerodynamically designed windscreen, which is sending the wind over me. So I can, as you may have noticed, stand up and I'm not losing my hat. This is the best T-top you've ever seen because it's designed essentially, it's like an aeroplane wing. Um, no, it's not like an aeroplane wing, but it's super strong. It doesn't give you lift, but it's not flapping around and it's not gonna blow away at those high speeds. The throttle is this red thing that I have my hand on right now. The gear selector are these two little black levers. So yes, you've got some thinking to do. The wheel is fixed. You don't really want to be having an adjustable wheel because you see my feet. You want to be able to plant yourself back into this seat, look and control. You definitely want to have your safety on at these sort of speeds that we're doing. But then you need to think about engine trim, which is controlled with a both lever here, then we have a pad just up the front of the throttle where we can individually trim the engines and we can we also have a both select as well and then the trim tabs. So what I'm gonna be doing on the acceleration, I'm gonna have the engine trim all the way down. As I hit about 30 knots, I'm gonna to start to come up on the engine trim, but I'm gonna have the trim tabs fully retracted at that time. When I hit 30 knots, I'll be trimming the engines up and I'm gonna be looking at my trim gauge to try and settle it down and get it right. Then you will notice the bow, it's gonna to start to bounce a little bit. That's when I'm gonna introduce uh, the trim tabs. 
I'm going to be rolling through 40 and 50 and 60 knots. So whether I'm going to be calling out exactly what's happening to you guys uh, is another story because I do actually have to focus on looking out ahead of me to make sure I don't hit anyone. And that's why I've specifically come to this location in Sydney Harbour. You may notice it's quite calm, it's the middle of the week and there's nobody around me. So we're, we're, doing, we're driving this boat consciously. Um, we're not just going to go out and go crazy um, without thinking about it in advance. And I suggest that's how you should behave as well. So checking ahead, we've got a clear run. One kayaker, he's over to the side. And one fisherman on the other side. So I'm just going to spin the boat around. We will do some parking practice at some point in the video as well. That's going to be at the end for what you guys see. Alrighty. So engine trim down, trim tabs all the way up, checking on the gauges. I've got trim tabs. I've got engine trim on the Mercury display in front of me. And I've got the flat screen here, which I get all the engine diagnostics, which is going to be useful. I've got my shifts still in forward. I'm just going to allow my waves to pass through. So I'm just going to take them bow on. And when we've dissipated the waves that we've made, we're going to do a full speed run. Okay, that's looking good. Clear, clear, clear. So engage forward. So engine trim down, trim tabs up accelerate gentle acceleration just don't don't go flat to the floor you want the props to grip take hold allow them to take hold allow them to take hold allow them to take hold the boat's up on the plane now we're rolling okay now i'm trimming up i'm at 30 knots i'm at 35 knots i'm only at 4,000 revs more speed now i'm trimming up on the motors now i'm settling that trim I'm refining, I'm at 49 knots. Now I'm increasing my speed. I'm at 52 knots. My revs are at 5,000. See the bow moving? Now I want to settle it down with that trim tab. Settle it down. Okay, 63 knots. Full speed. Trim up. 64. Okay, I might have a little bit too much. 65. It's, a, it's about refining here, going around the corner. 67, woo, hitting some waves. I feel nice and secure, even at that 67 knots, hitting some of those waves in this seat. And now I'm gonna settle it down with the trim tabs, settle it down. You are entering into a completely different zone or sphere. It's the, probably the closest thing to so many of us get to flying a fighter jet, basically. It feels like freedom. Being able to come out on the water here in an unrestricted zone, not just minding your own business and just go hell for leather, it feels really great. Hopefully the women will understand that too, but it's just such a good feeling to be able to come out, get the wind in your hair, do that. Obviously, go from A to B in uh, you know, one third the time you would do on any other vessel. And I just want to, I really just want to uh, make the point that you want to do it as safely as possible. So what I'm going to do now, just for, because we have some calm water and nobody around me, I'm just going to operate some transverse thrust. Look at my hands. Look at my left hand, see how it's not doing anything. So see how you can get the boat spinning. See how I've got my head going from side to side. I'll just reduce that thrust a little bit. So you can really maneuver this thing if you need or wish. You can also complement that with a bow thruster. So let's introduce some thruster. That's plenty talky. Let's stop that right turn there. And what you need to do when you are coming into a marina berth you do have to train yourself out here to go throttle down, shift. Um, once you've shifted into gear, okay, into gear, throttle up. If you need to change gear, throttle down, shift. Do not just go straight to the shift. You always need to be 
throttle up, throttle down. So basically, keep your hand on the throttle when you are driving the boat. Does that make sense? So you should never uh, take your hand off the throttle if it's not in the throttle down position, because then you'll have a bit of a whoopsies. You're just gonna stall the engines. It's, you know, hopefully not gonna be doing it at full speed. But once you get the hang of that, it becomes really fun. It's kind of like driving a manual car. Um, if you are used to performance, um, if you uh, enjoy the drive, you're going to get maximum jo enjoyment out of something like this. So who's gonna be good for this? You know, if you have come from perhaps an adventure boat and you want to get that next level of speed, um, you might really get a lot of enjoyment out of this. If you were someone who would have bought a cigarette boat once upon a time, and um, that whole Miami Vice uh, you know, scene, if that appealed to you, you might really, really find this uh, very interesting. And if you're someone who just wants to do your poker run type day boating, so going from A to B at incredibly high speeds, you know, I do imagine um, ripping up and down in summer down at Sorrento in Melbourne. I do imagine the same thing on the Gold Coast in Queensland and around certain parts of Sydney. And there's going to be so many places in America. I already know there are because you guys have been buying these boats and writing to me uh, to explain what you've been up to. And that's, that's awesome. I love seeing that, by the way. So I hope that was useful. Um, we're going to go and actually do some anchoring at some point and show you what it's all about and if we, we're running out of light if we get an opportunity we'll also do a little touch and go against a marina okay guys so i'm just going to do a little touch and go on this fuel dock we have a little bit of wind it's blow on conditions right now and uh, we also have a little bit of tide but what i'm just going to do is talk to you about when i'm what i'm doing so i'm just doing uh Transverse thrust now, so right engine in forward, left engine in reverse, and I'm just going to spin the boat. I've got a little bit more throttle on the left engine. My rudders are centered, so the engines are working in uh, transverse thrust mode. The wind and tide is taking me, so you can actually see the tide pulling me a little bit, but that's okay. I'm going to activate bow thruster so I have that ready to use, and we've successfully spun the boat around. I'm bringing the throttles down at all times before I um, change to shifting gear. What I'm going to do now, uh, using a combination of uh, engine, I'm remembering I'm blow on and bow thruster, I'm going to hook the wheel over and I can actually do uh, reverse and bow thrust. But see how I'm moving at a, a rate of knots there? I can actually now just do forward. And, and bow thrust to the left, and that slows down my rate of travel. And one more time, I'll just give it a click in forward. And see, now I can, in a controlled manner, pull myself back in and just let everything settle, let the bounce, because uh, you often get a bounce when you go onto a fender dock like this, let that stop and see how everything's quite secure. I can now disconnect from my safety, leave the helm, and go and get that aft line secured. And on this boat, I would get that aft line secured first because that then empowers me to put the left engine in forward and then whatever happens, the boat's gonna wanna press itself up against the dock. But what I'm gonna do now, still with a bit of blow on wind, I'm gonna reverse the direction of travel on the wheels. We, got, we do have a few turns from left to right on this one. So if you need to speed that process up, put your finger inside this design of steering wheel. I think it's perfectly designed for that. And uh, you, can, you can speed up the turn. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna do the right engine reverse, and then I'm gonna do bow thruster to port. So I want you to look at the boat, because if you time this correctly, uh, remembering the bow thruster has got different thrust to an engine, so you may have to operate them at different intervals. So just a little thrust there to get the boat parallel. And now I'm going to do right engine reverse and see that moving away from the dock. Now I'm going to complement it with the bow thruster. See how I'm doing that and the boat's parallel, clear all around. And so now I've created about three meters distance from me and the dock. I can actually now just go right engine forward because look at my risk point, just the back corner, which is the corner that would hit. I ain't going to hit nothing. See that? So we've just 
cleared the dock. There's many, many more tricks to this, but um, I think most of you will be looking at this boat not having had experience of operating one of these throttle systems. And my message to you is with a little bit of training, uh, it's totally doable. And then you're gonna be the only guy on the water <laughs> driving something a little bit technical and it just becomes very pleasurable because you are like driving a manual car. I'm just op avoiding a log there. There we go. So I hope that was useful, ladies and gents. I hope you got what you wanted out of it. If you are looking for more, um, we are gonna be filming some extra content, crossing some open water, going through a few waves. That's gonna be over on the Patreon channel. Um, and that's where you can have a quick chat to me in the top tier of Patreon if you would like to ask questions as to how this boat compares to others. Um, as I have previously said, this is the modern cigarette boat. It's all about performance. The quality is exceptional. It's really, really good. And so if, you are, if you're seeking the speed, if you're seeking the fun, or if you just want something that looks super, super cool, and you want to drive it around at 40 knots everywhere, you can do that too. Anyway, hope that was useful. See you in the next video.